Even all, Nick Watts back here for We Love Betting after my week off uh, last time around. Sorry about that, I have to apologise. Uh, certainly wasn't part of the plan. Uh, life just kind of got in the way, to be honest. Of course, uh, I was definitely going to back uh, West Brom and Aston Villa, so uh, big shame that I missed out. Uh, I certainly wasn't hiding from my one out of three uh, the previous week. Uh, just a bit too hectic, I'm afraid. Um, but back this week, uh, it's been another busy one. I've just got two picks for you this time around from the Premier League. Um, two that kind of stuck out on the coupon for me. Uh, I did a bit of digging on them and all it did was really back up my initial gut feel. So let's get stuck right into those. Uh, Sunderland, Man United, you already know what I'm going to say. It's Thursday night and I just can't believe there's four to six available at Man United. Um, I think that there's a slight overreaction going on here really uh, for United and their so-called crisis um, because they're playing the worst team in the league. Uh, Sunderland just been absolutely abysmal. I had no faith in them under De Canio. Now they're waiting for this new manager to come in, uh, and and you know I think they're probably deliberately delaying the appointment uh, with this game in mind because they're expecting to lose it. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you look at their head-to-head -head record, which okay, I don't take a massive amount of stock in, but at the same time, uh, it's particularly dismal this one for Sunderland. Uh, the last 12 meetings, they've won none, drawn two, and lost 10 against United. Um, and as I say, more importantly, they're just a pretty bad team. They've got the worst defence in the league so far. 14 goals conceded. They've scored just two at home. Um, look like a team that's just been pretty easy uh, to defeat all round. Okay, they've probably had a couple of decent spells, maybe I'm being a little harsh on them. Um, but just got no faith in them whatsoever uh, as things stand. Uh, they've lost to Liverpool and Arsenal, of course, at home, but they've also lost to Fulham. And just to put that in context, I've scribbled down my notes here. Fulham, spanning uh, the, the two seasons, um, are on a run of winning two games, drawing two games, and losing ten. Um, so they're in a really bad spell. Rumours, of course, about Martin Yol's future at the club uh, on that basis. And, and for me, it just shows how bad Sunderland have been that they lost that game, really. Um, OK, things haven't gone all that smoothly for Moyes and Man United either. Had some hiccups, uh, most notably that defeat to West Brom last week, which still quite astounded by, despite their um, troubles of sorts. They have had a tough fixture list. Uh, you know, we don't want to hear Moyes moan about it anymore. Um, but, of course, their defeats away were at Liverpool and Man City. Um, it feels like a, a long time ago now, but, of course, they won very well at Swansea. Um, and I, I'm backing them to, to, to win relatively comfortably here again, I think. Uh, RVP should be fit. Um, and, and Sunderland are just such a bad side that I'm, I'm just surprised at that 4-6 to six and I'm snapping it up. Uh, second game then um, is Southampton-Swansea. This is one of the first things I look at on the coupon every week now, Southampton and their unders price. And it's an attractive one again here. 19-20 uh, as I speak here on Thursday, available with Coral. Um, and, and that's a bit that seems absolutely obvious to me and as much as 100% of Southampton games so far this season have delivered under two and a half goals um, that's on the back of the fact they've got the best defence in the league at the moment conceded just twice um, kept a few clean sheets um, and you know even their League Cup game against Bristol City uh, paid out in that unders as well although I probably wouldn't advise it in that competition when it goes a bit goal crazy so often um, they don't score many either, I've certainly mentioned that on previous videos and on Twitter. Um, they scored two against Crystal Palace, of course, last weekend, um, but hadn't done that uh, since beating Reading back in April uh, and played a fair few games uh, since then. So, um, just generally expect unders to come in every time they play, and this is against the Swansea side who away from home have had three out of three go under two and a half goals. Only conceded the one goal, that was at Tottenham. Tottenham could only score one goal, and I think that was a Soldado penalty. Um, and, and clean sheets in, in both their other games. So I think Swansea are a decent side at keeping it tight on the road. They've certainly done better uh, away from home so far this season. They have done at home, albeit with uh, somewhat contrasting fixtures. Um... You know, and at, at 19 to 20, it just seems like that price is too big. It's going to lose eventually, but at the same time, 
I can't help but look at that and think that that should be more like four to six, really, the way this Southampton team is set up to play. And I expect it to continue for much of the season. So that's my two bets for the Premier League then. Uh, Southampton, Swansea, under two and a half goals at 19 to 20. And Manchester United to beat Sunderland at four to six. Good luck.